Good morning, super cool party people. People. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm slurring my words and that's a good indication of how this day is gonna go. I was up until oh, probably around one last night because I was editing and all that stuff and I couldn't get to sleep. But I finally passed out. My room was really cold. Like I had to pull down an extra blanket and then I was like, I can't move. There's so many blankets. Um, Cause it was one of those big thick fleece ones, but it was good. I slept pretty well, except I did not sleep long because I'm here an hour earlier than typical. So that's fun. Also, I knocked my phone off the charger again or something, uh, cause it didn't charge. Cause the thing is my case on my phone is like a little bit thicker and then I have a pop socket. So unless I get it right on that wireless charging pad perfectly, it doesn't do anything. And when I like, Went to sleep last night, it was on there, it was lit up, so I guess sometime in the middle of the night it knocked it off. So it was at 12% when I woke up, which sucks. But the great thing about my phone not dying immediately, like my old one did, is my old one would have been dead and I wouldn't have had an alarm this morning. So who knows when I would have made it to work. But yeah, I'm hoping that was gonna be a short day today because I am not feeling it. I didn't bring any of my writing stuff down with me because I feel like it's probably a terrible choice, but I, I haven't, been going anywhere after work to write. Of course today I'll probably want to, but that's okay. And so I guess I'll probably head right home after work and then do some reading or maybe napping. We'll see how I feel. I'm, I'm feeling okay right now, but as the day goes on, they'll probably change. Anyway, I feel like I've been blabbering enough, so I'm gonna go drink my breakfast drink and then slowly get myself motivated to start working. So I just got home and if you remember, Recently, I was complaining about the hill that I have to walk up to get home and how it sucks to walk down to the bus. Well, <sighs> death. I actually have decided that it's better to just walk as fast as I can and that's a good solution. So that's what I did, but dying and also like, I don't know, my muscles because I was at work and going up the stairs for like the last time. And I was like, <sighs> I'm over it. Anyway, I'm going to make some food, going to make some food because I am starving. And then we'll see what happens after that. Okay, so I just made myself this giant bowl of french fries. I don't know, I was feeling it. It's like two o'clock, I'm so not eating dinner. Mm, that's so good. Anyway, um, I have a uh -huh, napkin. I'm gonna watch YouTube while I consume this and then we should make the bed and get to work doing stuff. So I'll check with you once I am a stuffed potato. <laughs> All right, so because it was chilly last night, I decided to make my bed and keep my big fleece blanket on it. Can you tell where I live? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm sure it'll be cold again tonight. So we'll be nice and cozy if not I can kick it off. Maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing, but so cozy, so it's fine. Anyway, yesterday I worked really hard. I don't know if you saw the vlog, but I managed to edit six videos yesterday. It was all I did. I mean, I worked first, and then I came home, and then I edited six videos, and nothing else. But it's just kind of been a process this week of trying to get my life in order, and one of them was catching up on the backlog. I actually, yesterday's vlog is uploading right now, because I still have that little bit of a buffer, and I just wanted to go to sleep because I was exhausted and it was like at least midnight and I had to get up at 6.30 today, so it was a thing. But one of the other things that I wanted to do and I've wanted to do it for a while to get my life in order and I wasn't sure if I was gonna mention it or just put it in my description box and not say anything, but I started a coffee account, Kofi, K-O dot F-I. Basically, it's a platform that lets you send or pay for a coffee for a creator that you like and then they can take that money and go get a coffee or whatever. Like if, if you're a gold level you can change what coffee means but yeah so I started one of those. The link is down below and I just want to thank Bob for being the first person to buy me not just one coffee but three. Actually it was like here you can get three coffees or you can get one of those stupid expensive ones. So that's so exciting and when I got the notification I was just like it was just this amazing sense of happiness that somebody believes in me and what I'm doing enough to put their hard-earned money towards me to help motivate me to do more writing, which I think is really cool. And I also really like it because I was looking into Patreon, but I couldn't really, I wasn't really comfortable with Patreon and like the different tiers and stuff. 
So like this is nice too because it's very quantifiable for me. So like those three coffees, that's at least three hours in a coffee shop that I can go sit down and write. And then it's like even more motivating because somebody's paying me to be here right now. It may only be in a coffee, it may only be a few bucks, but it, it makes a huge difference. And so that's really helpful. And as much as I would like to go to a coffee shop today to use one of those coffees up, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> My body hurts so much, but I'm very excited to get into that and to going there. So that's super awesome. So, I mean, I feel weird asking, like, Anyways, if you feel like buying me a coffee, the link is down below. I'd super appreciate it and you would make my day, totally. But with that, sans coffee, we are gonna get into reading the books again. <sighs> but positive, but <sighs> When you make your bed, um, but it still doesn't stop you from going to lay down on it. Oh, yes. To have a nap, like, oh, it's, it's, you know it's good and you know it's needed when you put your knee on it and you're like, oh yeah, I need to sleep. So, I'm gonna grab my afghan here because I don't wanna unmake my bed, cause that'd be counterproductive. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna try to get some shut eye for like half an hour, 40 minutes here. And then hope that I can function better after cause my brain has just stopped. All right, so after sleeping, like, I was gonna have a 40-minute nap, and I think I slept for about an hour and a half or so, but it was obviously so necessary, because, like, when the alarm went off, I was like, nah, nah. But I feel a lot better, a lot more rested, conscious. Like, what is this? I think I'm almost ready to jump back into the revising. I just want to watch a YouTube video or two first, just to wake myself up all the way, and then I'm um, gonna jump on the couch, I think, with a big cozy blanket and do some reading. So I'm like actually sitting at my desk while I'm reading right now and even though I'm like I'm not gonna fix things, I am fixing spelling mistakes and there are so many and I think it's just a result of me typing so quickly like rules was spelled R-I-L-E-S. I guess the U and the I are close to each other but that's just one of many room was spelled rom, you know. Oh, that just reminds me. I came up with I think a good name, last name for my character. Okay, I should write that down. Anyway, so it's going pretty well. I'm 13 pages in, I'm 119, but I am taking notes that there's issues. Not even like the issues that I was thinking about, but there's like issues with like, I think I mentioned this the other day, chapter three is like six paragraphs long. It's not long enough. So yeah, it's gonna be going back through fixing those things. I was hoping to be done by Friday, but it is Tuesday right now, and that's only like three and a half days away. I don't even think I'm gonna get through reading everything by that point, or it'll, anyways. So that's fine though. We'll set a goal, we'll figure it out, because I, I haven't set a goal since I stopped writing, so that's on me. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on this, and it's almost 6.30 and I think I'm gonna make something to eat because I'm a little bit nibbly. Okay, so I think it was bound to happen, but I've had a super unproductive day. I'm at chapter six. I think I started at chapter four, so we really haven't gone far. I think it's been like five pages. Um, and I just, nope, it's just, nope. After yesterday, I think I just need it a break. I did add about 80 words to my story though, so I mean, that's, that's something. <laughs> pretty much nothing, but it's something. Um, Cause I've just been puttering as I'm going. I kind of like this strategy, I think. Like just puttering, kind of getting stuff done, not getting too like stressed about it, taking notes, etc. Still kind of getting super stressed about it, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. So yeah, I think that's just that's what I'm gonna do for the foreseeable future. I just want to find a way to quantify it. So I think I might make the goal like two chapters a day or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out as we go along. I'm definitely not going to have it done for Friday. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, that was just too ambitious. It's way too ambitious. <laughs> so that's okay. We got time. Maybe I'll take the month of November to kind of sort things out. I'm not going to stress about it. Uh, hopefully I will have more productive days because today really wasn't that productive, but I'm not gonna stress about it I'm just gonna go at my own pace and hope for the best But that being said today is going to be a low-key self-care day because it is 10 to 10 And I'm gonna end the vlog now so I can get this edited 
and into bed early because <laughs> I definitely need more sleep. So with that, thank you for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.